Mogul Motivation, empowering and inspiring entrepreneurs and dream chasers worldwide, one week at a time. Presented by True Stories Media, and I'm your host, Antoine Twiz Taylor. Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mogul Motivation. Welcome back. I'm happy that you are here. If this is your first time listening, this podcast is for the aspiring entrepreneur trying to get over that hump, make things happen. But this podcast is for anybody with a dream that wants to go forward and accomplish that dream. And you know the phrase that says, um, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Um, that phrase, it hits different for me these days. You know, I'm getting up into my thirties. I'm 36 years old. You know, I've been an entrepreneur for 14 years, full time for seven. And that phrase, it really hits different now because I look back over my journey and I look at the people I was surrounded by and I'm not trying to be shady with this, but I'm just being real. You know, the people that I, some of the people, I'm not going to say all, but some of the people that I consider close friends, some of the people that um, I was trying to help, you know, uh, transition into the entrepreneurial wor- world, they weren't beneficial to me or to themselves. And what I mean by that is they weren't contributing anything to my life. I was literally the smartest person in the room. I was the smartest person in the circle. I was the brains of everything, you know, and because of that, I was surrounded by people that had a doom and gloom outlook on life that didn't have any confidence or any belief in themselves, didn't even believe that they were worthy of elevating in life. Or I was surrounded by people that were copycats. And what I mean by that is they would take every single thing that I would do with every single thing that somebody else would do, and they would try to make it their own. You know, they didn't have a vision of their own. They was always trying to leech off of what I was doing or they didn't have enough confidence to figure out what they want to do for themselves. I was always the smartest person in the room and that's not good. You have to be surrounded by people who can contribute to your life just as you can contribute to their life. And I'm not talking about financial, but I'm talking about something that they can bring to the table, some sort of social capital, some sort of intellectual capital that you do not possess, that they do possess, that they can bring to the table. That is how you grow, not only as an entrepreneur, not only as a person, but that's how you grow socially because the people you are surrounded by all have their own lane. They all have their own vision. They all have their their own intellect and everybody can bounce ideas off each other. Everybody can uplift each other. Everybody can pour into each other because if you're only pouring into everybody else, eventually you are going to be depleted. And that is what I felt as I recall my journey as an entrepreneur all those years back. Things wasn't popping off. Things wasn't as successful as I wanted them to be because I was doing all of the heavy lifting. But the moment that my circle began to shift, my circumstances also began to shift as well. Shift changes are so important. I have so many people that I consider close friends right now that are going through some major wins in their lives and that shit is amazing. That shit is blessing me and it's fulfilling me and it's pouring into me even if they don't know it. I have friends that's receiving promotions. I have friends that's buying homes. I have friends that's getting new cars. I have friends that are paying off debts. I have friends that are making strides in their businesses. I have friends that are making things happen in their personal lives. These are the people you need to be surrounded by. Because as an entrepreneur, as somebody that's going after a dream, even if you are used to losing, you have to get used to winning. And the only way to get used to winning is to be around other people who are winning as well. Create that winning culture in your circle so that winning culture can be contagious in your own life. I was surrounded by nothing but losers. And again, I'm not trying to be shady. I'm just being real. I want them to succeed. I still wish these people well, but the reality is they were used to losing and they had no intention in learning how to win. I wanted to learn how to win and in order to learn how to win, you got to be around other people who know how to win as well. Even if it's a small win, a win is still a win. That shift change of the people around you is going to bless you in more ways than you can imagine. It should feel good when people that you consider a friend, when people you consider an associate, when a family member gets a promotion. It should feel good when they pay off some debt. It should feel good when they accomplish a major goal in their lives because when you see the things that God is doing for others, it's just a preview of what God can and will do for you. 
but you have to see it. You have to feel it. And once you feel it, you start to believe it. And once you start to believe it, it begins to be conceived. And once it's conceived, that becomes your reality. It's not just an imagination anymore. It's not just a hope anymore. You know that it's real, but you have to change the people around you. If the people around you right now are contributing things to you, as well as you are contributing things to them, that reciprocity is there, then that's great. Continue to grow together. But if you feel like you are always pouring into others and they aren't pouring into you, then you're going to have to adjust how you deal with these people because you cannot win if you are constantly around people who are always complaining. If you constantly are around people who are always losing. If you are constantly around people who don't even believe that they are worth a million dollars. That they don't believe that they are worth this new car or this new house. If you're surrounded by people like that, it's time for a shift change. You got to change those people around you. You got to change those mindsets around you so your mindset can change as well. You can't stay in the same environment if you are praying for a better environment. That don't even make sense. You can't stay in the mud if you want to be in an oasis. It doesn't make sense. You have to change the people around you. And once you change the people around you, your circumstances are going to change. And once your circumstances are going to change, you are going to change on the inside. And you are never going to go back. Because right now you're accustomed to losing. Right now you're accustomed to bad news. But once you get that taste of that good news, once you get that taste of that winning, you're never going to want to taste losing and bad news ever again. It's not going to be acceptable. So shift changes. Is important. Be thankful for the people who are winning around you. Even if you are still losing right now, be thankful that you are experiencing people experience wins around you because eventually that win is going to come to you. It's going to rub off on you. You're going to know what it feels like. Once you know what it feels like, you're going to want people to clap for you as well and you are never going to go back to how things used to be. So that's my message today, everybody. Let's continue to work. Let's continue to imagine reality. A shift change is necessary if you want to ascend and get to that next level. You have to evaluate the people that you call friends. Evaluate the people you call co-workers. Evaluate the people who you call family. Your environment cannot stay the same if you are striving for a much better environment in the near future. So if this podcast has benefited you in any way, shape, or form, I ask for two things as always. Number one, please leave a five-star review. And number two, pass it on to a friend who may benefit from it as well. Have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you next week.